Hello everyone. So, I've got some time to kill, a lot of time actually, and I decided, you know what, I know I did a YouTube community post about this uh, yesterday or the day before, whatever, the, whenever the fuck it was about a certain movie corner of the Andrew variety, and um, yeah, there has been an update, but uh, yeah, uh, I think it would be better to do this in video format too, like just, because again, it could get across on a much wider scale, I guess, but, um, yes, obviously the person we were talking about is Andrew's Movie Corner, who is no necessarily no stranger to this channel, uh, I did make a couple videos on him a year back, but unfortunately they are lost media, because, hey, John is the buddy man, man, shit like that, which, uh, was a very stupid mentality, and I wish I did not take those videos down, because they had some pretty golden moments in there, but, um, yeah, those those videos were done for some kind of slightly minor stuff. It's a it resulted in the fucking uh the heat catalogs like, saying hello the paper party party of Patrick's back when I used to go by perpetuating party of Patrick's and um yeah it was kind of more kind of petty freaking uh YouTube internet beef as opposed to what it is now. Just like back then, uh, we also got this fucking Quedeco looking motherfucker who made a video. On me and Savage Gamer, or mainly Savage Gamer, I don't fucking know, but, um, yeah, it was kind of more fun, slightly more, slightly irritating, but relatively not that serious. Until recently, which, uh, yeah, uh, just, if you're curious what Andrew's Movie Corner has been doing now, well, p Crab says it right here. I'm a pedophile. Yeah, I swear to fucking God we've been exposing a lot of fucking pedophiles. Well, not even... I'm not even the one who's been exposing this shit now when it comes to Andrew. Like, his own fucking... Supposedly his own parents did it. But, uh, yeah, of course, there's other stuff that was kind of leading me to think that. Uh, f firstly, there's the fact that, you know, well, Andrew said they now like Amanda Little again, who... If you have no idea what Amanda Little did, uh, she is also a fucking pedophile who was sexting and uh, inappropriately texting minors, including uh, this person named Beatriz Pinky Tortetsi, however the fuck you say that last name, with stuff like kissing, and then another person. She was like, oh, will you marry me? And, um, yeah, of course, Zach Mosley handles his opinion, which, I mean, what is, what is Zach Mosley not these days? I hate non-binary people. But anyways, uh, that aside, let's move on to the... Uh, main story for today, which is, of course, uh, Andrew's Movie Corner's parents, which I, I, I'm kind of questioning if these are his actual parents, or if he's just, like, fucking disguising himself. Either way, <laughs> there's some stuff that, uh, we didn't even, a lot of us didn't even fucking accuse him of doing, but he comes out about here anyway. Anyways, let's uh, read this. This is Andrew's Movie Corner's mom and dad speaking. We will have to inform you that our son hasn't always been wanting to be a part of the family. He's had this problem since he was about 17 years old. Almost every day when we try to lecture him about something or try to correct him on something, he has refused to take criticism and has instead been getting very defensive and has been very irritable towards us. I don't know who's been accusing him of the whole family thing, but whatever. Whenever we get, uh, get on to him or try to help him, all he does is get very mad and push us away. Note that we care about our son and want him to succeed, and we're on his side. He has just been acting like he doesn't want to be a part of the family. Our son, Andrew, a.k.a. Andrew's Movie Corner, has had the problem of, the, of being very addicted to video games and his phone over the last several years, since he was about 17 years old. Back in February 2016, he refused to listen to his teacher in class and decided to be very irritable towards his teacher. In church, our son has been following young girls around and has become very attached to them. His behavior was not so good in 2020 when the coronavirus pandemic started. He said bad stuff about Gretchen Whitner, Whitmer, current governor of Michigan. He has become a big-time Trump supporter and has judged people based on their religious beliefs and political views. Who would have guessed it that, uh... Okay, now, before we move on to the next part, i just like to say something about that. Um, yeah, I don't really get this whole mentality of, like, you, you, you can't judge people based on their political beliefs, man. Come on, that's just their opinion and shit, which, I mean... Ironically, the people who made fun of those out there who uh, use, keep pulling the opinion card, 
ironically, when it comes to politics of all things, then that's when they pull in the whole opinion card thing, which I get the least amount of these because your morals and your political beliefs do reflect who you are as a person. So, yeah, that part, and also the next part that's about to be shown here are pretty stupid. Granted, Andrew's movie corner is a fucking dipshit mad Republican, but that's besides the point here. Well, actually, not really, but, um... Yeah, our son has hated Joe Biden since the day that Biden took office. Our son has been complaining about the gas prices and has blamed the Democrats for the rising gas prices. Very typical MAGA behavior. We've tried... <laughs> We've tried to tell him that both political parties were bad, but has refused to listen to us and has insisted that the country was to be controlled by all Republicans. Yeah, uh, maybe if you want your, uh, and you want your son to maybe, like, get some knowledge, don't pull fucking enlightened centrism on him, saying, well, they're both sides are equally bad, how about you actually, like, fucking educate him on the shit Trump has done, like... For example, he's friends with Jeffrey Epstein. He incited a coup and a cap uh, riot at the Capitol, maybe stuff like that. Or maybe pull out the uh, transgender military ban that was brought uh, back, that was brought in a couple of years ago. Or there's also shit like uh, the whole bathroom bill shenanigans where he wanted to they well they really were trying to just like fear monger that ooh if trans people get to use the bathroom of their choice then your kids gonna be raped and shit like that like why not pull any of that shit out like why do you have to pull the fucking line sensors and okay the main point that i'm trying to get out here is that Mind centrism is bad and doesn't solve anything anyway also about the whole country pulled controlled by all republicans we're getting pretty close to that, uh, not at the moment, because thankfully, uh, you know, the whole, uh, we, we won the midterm, so that's cool, however, again, just, if Republic, if Republicans didn't control the world, then I, yeah, if you're a marginalized person, uh, you better be ready to flee the country, anyways, uh, let's get on the main, get on the rest of what this was. Back in May 2020, our son was yelling at a store clerk like he was an entitled Karen, almost like he is. He was almost given a restraining order for being rude to the employee. There has also been times where our son has thrown temper tantrums when he can't get what he wants or when the prices are more than what he usually pays. Our son has also been demanded to speak to a manager when things don't go his way at the store. Our son has also been spending his money recklessly. He has been having problems with bothering girls and gambling over the years. And no, he hasn't done the casinos to gamble. He just has been spending money on things he doesn't need. That's all. So therefore, our son has told us that he's going to take a much-needed break from YouTube so he can spend a little more time with his family and, or instead of just doing his own thing all the time. This is because we care about our son and want him to succeed and be treated with respect. And um, before we get on to the comment about that, I would just like to specifically mention that, uh, yeah, that break didn't seem to last very long because, like, right after this, he was <laughs> making more posts. Multiple, actually. So, um... Yeah, that was a fucking lie. Anyways, uh, yeah, what to really say about that? Well, again, a point that I would like to make is, uh, if this was all stuff that happened, then why did his parents wait so long to fucking do, by tell people about it? Like, why wait until now to say a bunch of this shit and fuck? There's been speculation that this isn't even his parents, which, I mean, I don't really know about that, but, like, even if, like, if this is him just... LARPing as his parents to say a bunch of this shit. Uh, yeah, he exposes himself as a pedophile. Again, specifically at this part right here, saying that he's been hanging around young girls at the church, becoming very attached to them, and very typical Christian behavior. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of this shit is uh, pretty fucking wild. But, uh, recently they made an update, and, um,. Yeah, this shit's even more pathetic than what you just read. This is Andrew's Movie Corner's mom and dad speaking again. We'd like to inform you that our son is starting to approve his behavior. We've been helping him remain calm over the prices of stuff. In fact, he's now been slowing down on his spending and is working on being careful with his spending. Our son has also stopped following girls around in church and is instead spending more time with guys. Hmm, I wonder what the age of them are. 
Our son is now going to church on a regular basis and is making new friends in church. He is learning that he needs to spend more time with the family instead of always doing his own things. So, if you guys are reading this, please do not cut ties with our son. He's been through more than you realize. <laughs> we think it's a good idea to give him another chance. <laughs> Like, literally, the blast posts are like, oh, yeah, our son has been following around young girls at our church and has become uh, very attached to them, and now they're saying, please don't cut ties with our son. It's a good idea that you give him another chance, man, which is a very typical and adds more to the suspicion that this is not might not actually be uh, Andrew's parents, but instead, Andrew himself LARPing as his parents. But, yeah, anyways, that's all I really got to say for this video. Um... I'm actually, I think I said this before, but I am going to actually be using my own gameplay footage, so I'm currently uh, going to end this recording around like 4.15. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, so see y'all when we get to the actual video and I'm in like the editing process and, and shit, so yeah, see y'all later.